Channel 8. This afternoon, we're monitoring two searches very closely here on News Channel 8. One happening in Montgomery County for two missing toddlers. The other in Charlottesville, where search teams are working tirelessly to figure out what happened to missing UVA student Hannah Graham. And we begin there with our Kevin Lewis. He joins us live to explain what searchers are looking for today. Good morning, Kevin. Good afternoon to you, Caroline. We are on the uh, John Paul Jones Arena property on the UVA campus. This is where more than 1,500 volunteers came out today. Some members of the UVA community, both students and faculty, others members of the community at large here in Charlottesville, all had one goal in mind, and of course, that is to bring Hannah Graham home. Of course, it was one week ago this morning when Hannah's friends woke up and noticed that their 18-year-old friend from Alexandria was missing after a night of partying. Yesterday, police confirmed a big break in the case. That came after new surveillance video surfaced showing a 32-year-old African-American man with dreadlocks approach Hannah on a downtown street, put his hands on her waist, take her into a bar, and later speed away with her in his car. Police searched that man's Charlottesville apartment yesterday, seizing his car and his cell phone. Investigators, however, say so far there's not enough evidence to charge him with the crime. Search volunteers here say that news has motivated them to push even harder today in the fields and on the city streets as they seek some closure in what's become a nationwide mystery. I think that everyone in this community, they see a pattern. Our children are being preyed upon. And if nothing else, I think this show, this number of people that came out today is, is a demonstration of the commitment that these people have to make this stop, to find the monster, um, to search for the girl that's missing, and, and to keep this from happening again. Now, News Channel 8 plans to follow a search group later this afternoon to give you a better appreciation of what they are experiencing on the front lines. That part to this developing story coming up at 5 o'clock. But for now, we are live in Charlottesville. I'm Kevin Lewis, News Channel 8. Now, Kevin, yesterday police did say that they really just want any information that's out there. How else can folks help out if they can't actually physically search? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, they said they've received about 400 tips thus far, but they need more. And what they're really asking for is for folks who are on the mall here in Charlottesville, right downtown between 1 and 2 a.m. last Friday to stop, reflect, and think about what they saw. If they saw a 32-year-old man, African-American with dreadlocks, around 270 pounds, six foot two inches tall, with a girl that looked anything similar to Hannah Graham, contact investigators immediately because there is that surveillance video like I said that shows him walking down the street he flips a Yui police say and then put his hands around Hannah's waist took her into a bar at the Temple Bar in Charlottesville here and then 15 minutes after they entered that bar a second camera sees the two leaving getting into his car and this is what's really crucial it was a 1998 orange Chrysler coupe if any of that sounds relatively familiar, police say you got to call them because they really need to build a stronger case, they say, against this guy. Caroline? Kevin, any information can help. Thank you so much for that update. Well, News Channel 8 is following this investigation very closely. Stay with us for continuing coverage throughout the weekend as volunteers continue their search. And online, you can find additional surveillance photos and ways you can help. Just head to our website, news8.net.